All righty. Good morning, YouTube. Repo Man 64. I got a comment in the comment section about the rapture. <clears throat> the guy has found verses. He didn't give me any. That uh, the rapture's not true, and that uh, we're all going to go through tribulation. Every single one of us, we're going to go through this hell on earth, and then it's one big event. So I'm I'm just a, a normal guy. I go to work every day, um, read my Bible, pray, um, and this is just my opinion. I think he's right. I know he's right. Now, before you get upset, he's right. There is a group of people that are going to go through all these things, and they're going to witness the uh, holy city setting down on earth. It's what they want. They want that. <clears throat> Why they want that, I don't know. But what he's missing out on is just, like I said, I'm a simple guy, wake up, I drive to work, it takes me a period of time to get from one point to another point, and there are laws here on earth that God has set up. They're not changing. When Jesus came here, he was, wasn't stuck, he was, he obeyed the laws that he himself created here on earth. He, re, he obeyed gravity, hunger, thirst, cold, hot, uh, when they beat him, he did hurt. When they put the thorns on his head, it was painful. He bled. They hung him from a cross. His supernatural part, of course, was when he healed people. Um, when he was on the cross, he wasn't killed. He said he gave up the ghost, which left him in complete control the entire time. Somebody had to pay. You see that every day in your life, like a normal person. I'm normal. You're normal. You commit a crime. You're going to pay. Everybody has to pay for the things that they do. Uh, there's no fantasy land of, oh, well, you know, God's a loving God, which he is. That's why he did this. But there still must be payment for sin. There's no way around it. It's got to be paid. It's just the, the natural world that we live in. It's the world God created. So my argument to the guy who thinks that we all have to go through this, and it's one big event at the end of the tribulation is this. In a natural world, when the Bible speaks about the bride going to heaven and to the, la to, to the supper, or to, you know, to, to, the, to the grand meal that's up there, the, the, the buffet that's happening up there, when does that happen? How, how does that happen if, if uh, you know, if... Uh, we're standing there when the Holy City comes down. When does that happen? When are you given the crowns? We're all given crowns. We're the only ones getting crowns. It's the bride. We get crowns when we go to heaven. <clears throat> what group is going to heaven? Because there's two different groups it speaks about that go to heaven. Because there's a third heaven that, that somebody's going to. And then there's paradise that somebody's going to. So based on what I read and I understand in the natural world and the way things work is, there's two groups of people that are going to go to heaven in something called a rapture. Uh, the Bible speaks about she delivered a boy before she travailed. This is the bride. That's a rapture. It's a pre-rapture. The big one is, and it's the big one, and I'll tell you why it's the big one. You're driving along, and all of a sudden cars start careening off the road because those people disappeared. You've heard all the stories, but you didn't quite believe, and you didn't get on your knees and pray. Every knee will bow, whether you want to or not. Every knee is going to bow. I do it willingly. I want to. I humble myself before my Lord. He's an amazing, awesome God. So I kneel every day. Um, so what do you think is going to happen to those people that were lukewarm? Who are the lukewarm Christians? Those people that are on the fence, not 100% sure. I don't know. It might happen a thousand years from now, so I'm really, I'm really not worried about it right now. It's going to happen, but who knows when. Those people are going to see all this 
stuff happen where these cars go careening. All these people disappeared, cousins, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, friends, you name it. They're going to disappear. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to freak out, and they're going to get on their knees immediately. The media is going to lie to the masses, those people that want to be here to the very end. It's going to lie to them and tell them it was an alien abduction or, ooh, I got an ambulance coming up. Let me get out of the way. And uh, so those people are going to instantly, like, go to their knees and say, oh, my God, they believe. They instantly believe. And of course, there's still a group of people that won't. And uh, so on, this, on the second rapture, the rapture, oh, great, I just moved into his way. Let me move back over. <clears throat> All right. Everybody's safe. Okay, so, sorry about that. Looks like uh, somebody's on the side of the road, and they've, uh, they're have they sick somehow because the ambulance is uh, police are there with them. Anyway, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, it's all behind me, which is good. What was I saying? Um, so anyway, there's a, the, the group of people that, that just don't want it to happen. They're not looking forward to it, and they won't believe it when it does. So... The argument is, you're all right. Every one of you is right. The, the mid-trippers, man, they, 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 they're, they're they, and I don't know, is, is it a seven-year? I, I kind of leaning towards uh, uh, ministry, a uh, sword of God and ministry revealed that it might actually be 14 years. How is that possible when David's dream, uh, 69 weeks are completed and there's one week left? Who is he talking to? Who was he talking to? Were you the raptured bride before the travail? Or are you the raptured saints after the travail? Is that who he's talking to? Is those two groups not talking to the last years? Remember, uh, Jacob worked seven years, and he got one the wrong bride. He worked seven more years, got the right bride, and he worked six more years for the cattle. So he got a total of uh, 20 years there. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. I'm still learning. Still trying to put it all together. It'd be great to uh, to have help. But what I do understand, and and from what I read, is it's how how is it possible in a material world with material laws that we're going to go to heaven, eat a dinner, receive a crown, uh, jump on a horse, get a sword, return, and fight against who? Who are we fighting against? Evil. Right? We're fighting against evil, but this all happens in, in what time frame? I mean, I would think seven years in heaven would be a time frame. No time in heaven. These, these guys that believe that it's not going to happen is, uh, when is it going to happen? I'm just a, you know, just a material guy in a material world. <laughs> What's going to happen here, you know? How are you going to do all those things and then watch the holy city set down? Because there's a group of people that are going to see the holy city set down. And these are the people that did not receive the mark. So a lot of things to think about. Um, I keep studying and keep watching these guys, man, that peel these, this Bible apart really well. Dr. Barry, oh, we need another video. Taking too long in between videos. You made me make videos, which I'm not really good at it like you are. So I don't have a bones or anything to to, <laughs> to to be with so anyway youtube um have an awesome day repo man 64 and remember to like and share and subscribe uh this lets me know that something i'm saying might resonate i'm not wasting my time which i'm not i don't believe anytime you're talking about god you're not wasting your time but i just oh man the glory getting to heaven and people standing around you going it was the one thing you said, the one thing you said. You know, I'm not a big outdoor prayer in front of people. I don't like praying out in front of the public. But my Bible says go into a quiet room by yourself where nobody needs to know. Because if you pray in public, your reward is in public. If you pray in private, your reward is between you and God. And that's what the Bible does say. So I always tell people, go by yourself. You don't need a, a group hug thing going on. I'm not, I'm not like that. 
see my name on YouTube, you know what I do. Um, so I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I, I pray by myself quietly. Nobody needs to know. And the things I say between me and my father are between me and my father. So the glory of going to heaven, standing there, and somebody walks up to you, just one person, I will bawl my eyes out, and I'm not a crier. I will bawl my eyes out the moment somebody walks up to me and says, it was the one thing you said. You said that one thing that made me look to God and to get on my knees in a quiet room and pray. And man, I, I'm gonna, I will bawl my eyes out. I, I, if I could just save one person from my retarded videos that I make, I mean, that would be awesome. My knowledge is nowhere near some of these people's knowledge, but there's one knowledge that I do have that is probably more powerful than, or as powerful as any of the other channels, and that is God is real. Jesus did come here. He did die for the sins of the world, and whosoever will believeth on him will live forever. You'll have a super body. Why wouldn't you want that? You know? So... Have a lovely day, and we'll chat with you guys later.